welcome to this week's viewers tips brought to you by FinLogic. This week's focus is on disability cover. There's, it's important to understand the different types of disability cover that there are available. First of all, you get a capital disability benefit. This is effectively a lump sum payment. A lump sum payment can be used to cover debts such as your bond. The nice thing about this benefit is that it pays out tax free. It's also important to understand that there's two types of capital disability cover. First of all, there's occupational disability, and secondly, there's an impairment disability. Occupational disability effectively is covering you while you cannot work, and it has to be a permanent disability event, which means that you can never perform your occupation again. In terms of impairment, that impairment benefit will pay out in the situation where your body has been affected by a disability, but you are still able to continue to work. Income protection is another way to cover yourself for a disability. This is a nice benefit in terms that it actually will pay out in a sickness, temporary disability or permanent disability, and it can pay out multiple times throughout your life. What it does is it replaces your monthly income. So while you are unable to work and earn an income, your monthly amount will be payable to you. If you have an income protection product, it's very important to remember to deduct your premiums from tax, whether it be on a monthly basis through your payroll or once a year when you do your tax returns. Make sure you claim your tax deduction. Our next point is to make sure that you are not overinsured. Various insurance companies have a look at all the insurance that you have across all the companies. You don't want to be in a position where possibly a claim is not made payable and you think that you're going to get a certain amount paid out because you are overinsured. Employee benefits are also very important to be included into this calculation. Very often, whatever benefits the company offers you are not taken into consideration and this could affect your claim payment going forward. So make sure that you always confirm with a financial advisor and make sure that you're in the situation that you are correctly insured for both types of disability, capital and income, based on your specific needs. Please be sure to join us in two weeks' time when we take an in-depth look at severe illness cover.